like a bit less like cheese and I'm like, oh, I deserve that victory. I don't think he needs his nair to be as big as before, but I think that his nair is a little terrible Small. right now. I, I feel I, like they, they kind of did him a little dirty. I don't I don't think his nair is that bad. Like, I use it a lot. Like, maybe if they gave it a bit more range, I'll be, uh, I, I wouldn't mind, but, um. Like, right, right now, like, the, the trails aren't actually totally accurate. Like, it's a little smaller than the trails indicate. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Anyway, so game one is going to be Rob versus Palutena. I did not know Freak Sword played this character. Everyone plays Palutena. All right. Open it up. Get the just kind of raw explosive flame in the neutral. I'm really curious to see how Zadu plays this matchup. When he, I fought him um, at uh, Victory Road uh, last weekend, and he plays Rob, or at least versus me, he played super aggressive, which I hadn't actually really seen from any Rob mains yet. So. Oh my god, what is, he, what is he doing? Rob is a very creative character in this game. Like, he already had a lot of options in uh, Smash 4, but now he's, like, actually kind of a good character. Oh, oh. no, and the side B The side B the got so buffed. I, you, you didn't really see that move in, like, Smash 4. I don't know about Brawl who didn't play competitively, but I didn't, I didn't really see any of that move until, like, this game. And they made a, like, a reflector kill. It kind of reminds me of Dark Pit's uh, side B. Oh, game. trying to just get the real cheese. Yeah, Palutena, a, a solid character, um, a really strong character, but a little basic, I think. Like, I feel like her game plan is pretty easy to deal with sometimes. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Palutena gets a lot of easy bait combo, sort of, like, nair, 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 up, up there, up there. But, but I feel like where Palutena lacks is, like... I feel like her shield pressure's not that great if you're not on a platform. No, it's not. But she got... She deserved to be buffed, because... Oh, no. Unfortunate SD there from, uh... Reekzoid. Now playing from a pretty sizable deficit. And Rob just can put out so much damage sometimes. Oh! That was, I, that was some so Maybe messed up his DI a little bit? Yeah, that was pretty so smart. We got Nair, Nair, Nair. Good of him not to get stuck on the platform. Up oh, air. up air. On, on Old Town, like, that would have gotten spookily close to killing, but they changed the vertical blast on the stage so much in this game. Yeah, I mean, it, it was for the better. Oh, absolutely. Like, Veo. The read on that. Oh. Oh. Not gonna kill quite yet, but Palutena is light, so she's definitely gotta start fearing Rob here. Oh. Good, just waiting on the ledge. Side B definitely will not hit you there unless they go off stage for like a really crazy read. You I, re hello, hello. I remember a lot of people were afraid that Rob was gonna get some like ridiculous stuff with like down throw down or down throw up smash, but I don't really ever see them go for that. I think it's just it doesn't vary long enough. No, no, it happens, but like I don't think it was a high enough percent for him. Is it Usually, when I play, oh, oh, unfortunately, gonna miss that tech and Freakzoid. Not quite out of the woods, but definitely a lot more of a playable game than he had before. Oh, back throw? I, I, I think he stopped dying because I saw him kind of slow down his last and just zip yeah. in there. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I really like the uh, mini map. I feel like it helps me DI when I'm fighting people, but also it gives you a lot of insight into what happened with people's DI. Yeah, I didn't why use it at the beginning of the game, but like when I do, when I like Wi-Fi or something, I always like look at it. It's like, oh, they're right here. Maybe if I did aerial spinning Kong, I could gimp them or something. Or it also helps like when I feel like myself plan my recovery, seeing like where I end up. Oh yeah, it sometimes helps it's a little hard to tell with just the magnifying glass. Yeah, it's it's really it's really useful. Like a lot of people at the <laughs> when the ultimate demo came out, people were like, oh, we better be able to turn this off. Yeah, the same way with like the balloon knockback. Remember how everyone hated that, and now you go look at Smash 4 and it looks like it's like running through molasses. Oh, I just played the PM setup over there, and I saw a knockback, and it just, I was like, that killed me? I was at like 130, and I got hit with like, snake uh, up to it. You know? like, Alright, but uh, Freak's like gonna take him to Pokemon Stadium. I agree with this. Um, a couple of good platforms for Palutena to punish, but she doesn't have to like try nearly as hard to kill on this stage. It's got, it's got, it's still got a relatively large stage, which is pretty good for Palutena. She has good, she has good movement. Though I haven't seen uh, Freakzoid doing too much of it with anything like teleport cancels or anything like that. 
Oh, tried to get the, uh, I think, a grab on his getup, but um, misspaced it. Explosive Flame is a really interesting tool, in my opinion, because it's not really a... Like, you can't really use it to camp, but it's really good at stopping other people from camping. Yeah, same with Auto Reticle. That, auto Reticle, like, people are saying it might be better than Explosive Flame. Though. Oh, wow. Just oh. get to spot. Read on a spot dodge. I was going to take the stock. Definitely a stronger start for Freakzoid. It will take the stock first this time. So what do you think about this matchup? Um, I never really played it. The one time that I played Zagoo when I was a Palutena main, um, he went Cloud. But um, I definitely think that Palutena does well versus a lot of heavies. So she can abuse Rob um, in combos and stuff like that. Like, like I said, if you get stuck on a platform or something like that. Um, I feel like she's going to kind of struggle to kill if she doesn't get a good setup. Yeah, like the higher percent. Like her, her raw kill power is... Pretty, like, Rob will spend a lot of time, like, throwing out moves and shielding, and, like, her invincibility frames aren't that active against, like, trying to, like, challenge, like, a back air. Moves only invincible for, like, a frame or two. But I definitely feel like Palutena has the advantage in the neutral once she can get Rob on the, on the, uh, get him, get him to approach. He went, oh, he went for the up tilt. That might have been a confirm with the up tilt up air. It looked pretty true. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't doubt it. One thing I want to see um, Freakzoid doing more is trying to scuff more of uh, Rob's, like, uh, Nairs. He's doing a decent job of contending with Rob's aerials in the neutral, but, like, Rob's Nair ha still has a lot of startup. That's how you beat that move in Smash 4 and how you beat it in this game. Uh, that's gonna be... Yeah, I thought so. That counter may have been a missing put or not, but, um, I'm not totally certain, but, uh, I figured he was gonna SD after that. Palutena is, um... Oh, he, oh, he almost had, he like, a, a really big combo. The best there. control over angles sometimes. Good DI. I feel like um, Freakzoid is getting a little over line on Explosive Flame off stage. He could, he could be doing a little more to harass Rob's recovery. Yeah, well, but that one it works there. So yeah, you always have to look out. You always, I always wait a little bit before I get off the ledge against Valtana because she always has that like Explosive Flame. And if I like jump, like oh, she got she got me. Or if I roll, like oh. So you always have to you always have to like watch for like the staff. He has always looked for it like a little bit. Because it will catch you off guard. Up tilt up air really seems like a pretty solid confirm for Rob. I've seen Zagoo get it a lot. I'm not sure if it's a DI read or not. Oh, uh, that was so close. Yeah, Zagoo's just kind of throwing out. About oh. To kill Rob right now. oh, what was that? was great oh, that was, down that was tilt. nasty. Alright. Yeah, that's something I kind of feel like Palutena can struggle to deal with. She doesn't... Her, when, when people are just pressing a lot of kill moves versus her, like, as long as they're not doing it too close to her shield, because she can nair out a shield, but if they're just kind of throwing out moves a little bit of a distance away, she doesn't have a lot of great options to punish it. I, I feel like that was definitely an explosive claim, and if it, he had gotten neared out to read... Oh, oh. oh! Hold on, was that down air? Wait, I didn't even yeah, know that no, thing that had a hitbox to kill off the top. It does, because it, it hit him, and then he went like... I didn't see him bounce though. Like it, it looked like he just went straight. Oh out. no no the weak hit the.